one of the scoring academy rules is taking on no risky shots. So I found myself in the trees here and I've got a couple of options for me. So the hole's this way and I've got to get that, or what we're looking for is the lowest score in this hole as possible. So what are my options? Option one is this one. This is going to advance me the furthest way forward and get me close to the green. I'm going to have a wedge in, it's going to be easier to score with a wedge. I've also got this one, so it, a little bit more to the left, but it also opens up the fairway. I've also got option three, which is come out sideways. Now, if we're looking to score and reduce those double bogeys, we've got to go for the least risk as possible. By giving ourselves the best chance of getting on that fairway as quick as possible, we're then going to lead to better scores. Now, if I play with this one, I've got the branches in the way, uh, I've got to go low. This one, this is tighter, but this one, I've got so much space here, it frees me up to hit exactly what I want to do. So to get under these branches, I've got a pitching wedge, but I'm going to put it off the back foot to allow it to roll on and make sure it stays pretty low as well. So I'll play that shot and see where we get to for the shot onto the green. So I've been able to get myself on the fairway and probably about 30 yards short of if I was to go to that uh, more attacking play. But I've taken all risk out and it's given me a shot to the middle of the green that I'm going to be able to two putt and just get off this hole with a bogey. If you punish with your tee shot, make sure that you're not punished with your second or third. Middle of the green, I've got a chance of making a par putt, potentially getting more. Well, it will get rid of those double. This is a perfect example of how you can minimize your risk and make sure you keep that score low. Scoring Academy rules say that we're not taking on any risk and we play within our own ability. So I've put, got myself in a spot here that I've got a tree in the way and the pin just round the corner. I've got, I've got a couple of options here, but what we're looking at is what's the best one to, that we can play eight out of 10 times. That's gonna give us the best opportunity to score because if it's any lower than that, we're creating risk for ourselves that we're making the shot harder. So if we're gonna reduce score, we've gotta play the simplest shot. So I've got two, we've gotta go high, we can go low, but the problem with that is I've got to get this really high as quick as possible, plus get the distance. So I've got a lob wedge, I'm going to play a flop shot. Is that going to be the best option for me? I've got to get it really high pretty quick as well. So maybe let's have a look at me, like an eight iron, and bounce it in low. I've got a bunker to avoid as well. And to keep that low and to stop it on the green is going to be pretty hard as well. So the best option you can do to, to reduce your score is scan the whole area. Where's my best option? Well, I've got two either side of the hole and just completely getting rid of this. You don't have to aim at the pin to score well. So I'm actually going to aim over here to the back of the green and look to two putt to get off this hole with the bogey. Easy, I've got a putter in hand. You can always hold a long putt, but I'm gonna to look to help, uh, have two putts from there to get off this hole with a bogey. Scoring Academy rules say that we're trying to avoid any risky shot. I found myself behind a couple of trees on the third hole here at Hazel Grove. So my best option or to advance that ball as long as possible is probably a pitching wedge to get it enough uh, high enough and get it going as far down as possible to give me an approach shot to the green. Now if I want to score well though, I've got to take these trees out of play completely. So your best option to reducing your score is if you've got to go over the trees, add two extra clubs. So instead of a pitching wedge, I'm actually going to go for a sand wedge. If you've got to get let's say a seven iron, you've got to go for a nine iron. Take the trees out completely, sacrifice a little bit of, dis a little bit of distance, but we've got to get over these trees. The 
the 15th here at Hazel Grove is a driver par four. We've got 262 from the yellows, water left, bunkers right of the green, but an opportunity to potentially make eagle, if not birdie, if we make the green. Now, scoring the academy rules say that we're not gonna take on any risky shots. Plus, we're gonna avoid any penalty shots. So hitting the green is an option, but is that gonna bring in the danger? So we go back to the how many times out of 10 are we gonna make this shot? So if we're less than eight times out of 10, then we're not gonna bother. So then we're gonna aim appropriately to allow us our uh, best chance to score on this hole. So for me, I've got a six iron here. I'm gonna aim right side of the fairway and have a wedge into the green. I can generally hit the green nine, 10 times out of 10 from 60, 70 yards. So that's gonna give me a good opportunity to hold the putt, make a birdie, but taking out all the danger, uh, which can hurt scorecards. So I'm gonna go right side of the fairway and let's see how we get on in this hole. So from my tee shot, I've given myself a good opportunity to go for the pin. I've taken out all the water, the bunkers are in play, and I've got a free shot to get to that green. For you to reduce your score, we've got to get in a free space. Imagine that you're hitting that second shot rather than that first one where you get all tense. So for me, we're looking now to get this ball as close as possible. But to reduce your score, let's just go for the middle of the green and score from there. Two putts is fine. Get off this hole with a par. So 50 yards in, I've got a lob wedge. I'm gonna aim just right to the pin and allow the bank to bring it back to the hole. Exactly where I was aiming, slightly right, but I've got a putt for a birdie there. So if we're looking to score, we're taking no risks, but also we're avoiding those penalty shots that cost us too many per round. So even though I've hit a six iron and a lob wedge to the middle of the green, I've still got an opportunity for a birdie putt here. And even if I miss this, I've got a decent chance of getting away from this hole with a par. But the big thing is zero stress at all. Easy to putt for a par. Onto the next. 